And welcome back for another edition of Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth on Hard Mode. As I try to quickly clear this game before Hacker's Memory releases out for the US on the 19th, so I could be able to do a good run of that while being able to use this as a reference. <gasps> uh, but who am I kidding? I am probably the worst Cyber Sleuth runner in the entire existence of the Cyber Sleuth running marathon on Hard. So, as you would probably notice, it I don't even know where to start with this. There was issues with last year. If you weren't, if you didn't uh, do for last video about what happened with me with being hiatus, basically Windows 10 uh, November December content creator update uh, just about liquefied my computer. Microsoft does not care. And of course, the only reason why I am on stupid Windows 10 is so I can be able to utilize my Elgato HD60 Pro to record this beautiful stuff. Especially if I'm, I'm going to be getting the PlayStation 4 to be able to record the uh, hacker's memory, which PlayStation 4 can record that as is, but... It's just for also for other systems like Vita and other systems I have. I want to be able to do recording. Because, you know, PlayStation 3 does not have that feature where you could be able to record stuff like that, you know. Maybe I want to do something that's on the PlayStation 3 that I have here waiting here. And other stuff like that. Give me recovery. Actually, I got exciting meat. Let me throw that on meat those real quick. Eat the meat. You're a skinny angel. And you know, uh, I'm saving the major cam. Uh, major food. I am not spending on other stuff there. So, I got about roughly... I want to say 19 more parts. Because I'm going to try to double upload. So, this will be the second upload that I'll be uploading for today. Just to make up until we get to Hacker's Memory, the Hacker's Memory will be a one-day uh, one thing, and then I'll try to interlace it with some uh, Next Order playthroughs. I mean, I, theoretically, I should have just thrown all my champions into the... You know, when we reach Chapter 5, I will have ultimates on my team. I don't log into Eden much, but I hear that there's... I heard that the view from the entrance is impressive, though. Okay, so Kyoko is telling us we need to go into Eden for the next story progression. Even though I sort of need the levels. Okay, sure, whatever. Up the stairs we go. Up the stairs we go. And the capture card, it messes up. And we're up the stairs we go. So, at the end of the previous part, I had to abruptly end the connection week, the run prematurely, even though it was at the 47 minute mark, mainly due to the, the Windows 10 update, the Intel kernel leak. It is not fun in order to run processes like this, just to try to be able to do projects like these. There's a lot of interruption, there's a lot of problems. And I'm just one person doing a solo, doing solo this while there's probably other people have, like a team, like somebody has uh, somebody that could do their uh, thumbnails, and then there's somebody else that could be able to do uh, strategics. I'm a one man person here. I'm only one person for Pete's sake. Okay, so I'm at the entrance. What's so special here? Wait, I see it. All the way up in the top corner. Can I buy something from this store? Still the two, just the two of those two patches? No thanks.
There's an anonymous post on my DigiLine. Stop looking at me. No reply. Yo, we got another case from the Occult Club. This one looks personal, though. I think those guys might have taken a liking to us, given that we deal in the strange and the unusual in our line of work. And in doing so, they're inviting yet more strange, unusual things into our lives. Starting with themselves, really. Ha <laughs> ha. It's like, but, Mom, I swear, there's someone there. I just feel it. Sweetie, look behind you and ch check for yourself. See, there's nothing there. Ugh, creepy. It's just really creepy. And off to another area we go. Actually, we'll just go ahead and log out and go ahead and take care of that case. When we hit Chapter 5, I'm going to just start busting out the ultimates. And then when we reach Chapter 10, we'll go Megas. And then we'll just, we'll just speed run through this all the way to the end. Just so we can be prepped and ready for Cyber uh, Hacker's Memory. Which, I'm pretty stoked. I already went ahead and pre-ordered it. I even paid off the pre-order. Thank you, birthday money. Yes, uh, just for if you were, uh, if you don't, don't get, uh, this week, last week was my birthday. Oh, here we are. Nightmare Eater. My Digiline is weird. It keeps transmitting without me doing anything. Please find the cause. Ooh, even a memory up. We'll take the case. Nice to meet you again, Manaka. What brings you here by yourself? I think I might be caught up in a cyber crime. Oh? Did you go to the police? I can't really. There are some supernatural elements involved. I think. I understand. You made the right choice coming to us then. Because... Surely, we are not tied into the police pit in the super occult, but by all means, give us the details. Take a look at this. It's my log on Digiline. Alright, let's see what you've got. Uh, should I go to my club tomorrow? They claim they do research, but all they really do is hang out and talk. It's only a club because everyone has similar interests. I should probably enroll in something a little more serious and go to that, too. And I could really use a hot manly boyfriend too. Oh my gosh, did I really just write that? What's so special about this? Keep going, you'll understand why. Could Kenji have a crush on me? LOL, LOL, no way. She has a one-track mind. She can't think of anything else but the occult stuff. Or does that guy even have his eyes on straight? He's such an ass. Uh, he has a real hottie in front of him, and he can't take his eyes off May for even a second to notice it. Maybe I should do 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 do. I mean, I got the goods. I'd give him a. Oh my! What rating was this game again? Hmm. How do I put this? Your posts aren't pulling any punches here. Putting my personal opinion aside, I otherwise don't see anything wrong with them. They look normal to me. I didn't write that stuff. Sure you didn't. Huh? They just randomly showed up. But they're freaked out about me so badly that I delete about it. Ah, I hear you. That doesn't mean your account was probably just hacked. Some 2-bit hacker probably did it to screw with you, or maybe your computer was infected with... No, it isn't anything like that. Hmm. I could take it this is where the part where the supernatural comes into play. Yeah. I wasn't the one who wrote those posts, but put them online, but they are how I feel. 
What you see written there, that's stuff about that I think about. But don't express out loud. Okay, I get you. It's stuff that's hard to share with any of the other cl uh, club members, actually. Right. Hmm, seeing as you're an occult member, I'm sure you know about... Oh my god, no. Uh, no, I would not touch a Ouija board with a 20-foot pole. Your hands move against your will, sending you messages to the spirit world. No, do not touch. Me no likey. Looking at the post times of your log, those messages went out of the dead of night. You should have been long since been asleep by that point. So then what? In the late 1800s, there was an ac there's a academic by the name of Enro Anoe who posted these sorts of things can come from having multiple selves. Oh, uh, split personality, multiple dis uh, personality disorder and whatnot. Enro Anoe, you mean the man who come up with mystery studies, right? I've shown off his work at the club bef- Oh, are you saying I have split personality? The politically correct term would be would be disassociative identity disorder. Actually, I guess I guess it makes sense if I'm writing these posts at night without realizing it. That would explain it, but maybe really it's just that I've honestly just been worried that it might be deep down. Something's not adding up, but no, that's not really it, huh? This isn't just some mental issue. Here, take a look at this. Just try and find me. That was just now posted onto your account. It's replied that to what I wrote on your Digiline. To the culprit, I'm a detective who's taken up Monica's case. Know that we'll track you down and uncover your identity no matter who or what you are. You can't hide forever. You've been warned. Well, this conversation unfolded online as you and I were talking. While you weren't touching any terminals. That means you're not the one behind the posts. Let alone any mental disorders you have. The real culprit is out there somewhere. Whoever's behind it is either a dumb troll. Albeit an airy one of that. But to quote Enro's, Enro Inoue's work again. What we've got is a case of a fake wonder. Or someone trying to make this look more mythical than it really is. It's plain old hacking. He said that the contents of these posts are based on the actual factors of yourself, yes? I don't know about facts, but yes, they are how I feel, really. Were you logged into Eden before you fell asleep? Yes, I do that every night. Gotcha. Then the way I see it, I bet the culprit's been snooping around and hacked into your memory data in Eden. You can do that sort of thing in Eden? You could do a lot of things in Eden. Not literally, at least not when you're lone wolfing it. Like your hacker here. Still, avatars in, in Eden are essentially digitized versions of people's mental data, so to speak. So the memory data hacks theoretically doable. I don't want to think about hacks and leaks right now. My uh, my desktop's already at a buzz standstill. Things are a bit of a different turn once the so-called supernational enters the equation. Huh? Don't sweat it. For now, just log into Eden tonight like you normally would. I'll have my assistants waiting for you in the lobby. Alright, but what are you actually planning to do? Let's just say we're going fox hunting. The decoy will be our little maiden's deep dark secrets. Uh... Looks like Monaka's still not here yet. Here's hoping this isn't a sign of what to come. Hmm, oh, I and Monaka laid down our decoy. If the culprit's the type of person I suspect they are, they'll definitely go for it. That means it's pretty safe guess to say that we're going to log into Eden tonight. But I'm already eating Eden. Once you're in position, it's just a matter of apprehending them, but it shouldn't be a problem either. Because Pete's going to be working with us. Oh my god. Hey, Pete, how are you doing? Long time no see. Thanks again to what you did with the stuff in the AC system. I had Pitta here look at the posts of the hackers wrote it could learn their scent. Oh, turns out the messages had traces of a Digimon on them. 
I'll let you know when the bad guy is close by. You can count on my nose. But of course, that's not why. Oh, that's why I brought him aboard. So it's our digital uh, bloodhound. Interesting. You say you're real boy wonder, but you use the girl avatar. Oh my god, I don't even know anymore. Hey, I'm here. Sorry to keep you waiting. I did just look at this and post a message on my digital line, but... Am I really going to be okay doing that? Hey, hey, you're curious about what she wrote, aren't you? It's fine. I'll tell you. She confessed her love to the hacker and also mentioned that she really wanted to meet him. Oh, what? No. Oh, my head. It's a real blatonomy ploy of our part, but then again, the guy thinks his hacking skills are hot stuff. He's going to want to verify Monaka's claims, preferably by checking her memories directly. Hacking memory data takes some work, though, even if it's just the look inside it. It'll require actually directly reaching out and making contact with the avatar. That's the only way you could be able to do this. He had to have been touching her somehow in order to do the hacks. What's more, messing around with someone's mental data would take going into the core of Eden itself. The security is supposed to be as tight as it can be. It'll be a real, t real effort to break in. The hacker behind Monaka's messages would have theoretically been sent by touching her at least several minutes before leaving his handiwork. I smell him. He's close by. Good, it's time to go hunting. Go investigate the areas, surrounding the area, and get this person out of the foxhole. Let's play red light, green light, please, when you have... Yeah, plot twist, I'm not even gonna... Okay, so you can smell these nearby... Wait a minute, there... What? I don't smell anything anymore. This is bad. If you don't pick it up soon, we'll lose him. What? I don't smell anything anymore. This is bad. If we don't pick it up soon, we'll lose him. Is it this thing? Here. Right in front of you. Hurry up and do a scan. Yes, I found it. There you are, butter. You're not going anywhere. A precocious boy. Says, oh, for real? How'd you find me? I knew it. The culprit's a little kid. Don't call me a little kid. That's rude. Hey, wait a minute. You're the one who spotted me before, aren't you? <sighs> How'd you notice me? You're not supposed to be able to see me at all. So that's what's happened, huh? My little assistant is so sensitive to the digital ways and special networks, the culprit didn't stand a chance of hiding forever. He's a cyber sleuth. It comes with a job. But enough about that. It's time to interrogate. Does it mean you're a detective too? Whoa, you're so... Wow. Yeah, whatever, just answer my question already. Who are you and how did you achieve such a complicated... I'm what you call a genius architect. I'm not some lowly hacker or programmer. Do you know about the Baku Reborn service? It's a special service here in... Oh, no. In cases where either user... Oh, wait. In case... In cases like where a user either permanently leaves Eden or they die, the Baku Reborn service gathers all of that user's data and deletes it. And I'm the one who runs it. You don't have to act so surprised. Kids are just more attuned to the digital world than adults. True. I just started on my own and joined groups that could trade info. And soon enough, I started working in corporate research and development. Jeez. 
The reason I am considered a genius isn't just because I run that service, but I'm also the one who designed it. Actually, what I said about Baku gathering and deleting abandoning user data isn't entirely accurate. It actually does more. Not only does it gather and accumulate data pertaining to the given account, it also organizes it almost like a mind of its own. A generated AI. To be honest, even I'm surprised at that. I never expected it to act so precisely and deliberately. It's a real case of creation suppressing the creator. But that's how it's supposed to be the sort of things, right? I follow you. Baku Return Service. Tell me, does the name Baku refer to the mythological creature that consumes nightmares? Tapiars. Or uh, teppers. Tepe ugh, can't say them. You're right, I need it because the data we don't want to show online is very much its own source of nightmare. And by using that Baku on yourself, you could... Alright, I'm on to you now. You handed your avatar surface level appearance over to your Baku and let it consume it. That way nobody around you would be able to know that you're lurking. But you didn't let it purge that data outright. You control it yourself, making it hand it back like a dog returning a prey to its hunter. Wow, you figured me out. You got me. It's amazing, though. I love it when it actually meet a smart adult. I'm guessing you basically used that same trick to draw out Monica's mental data, then. Yeah, I copied it, but I only did that with her short-term memory. The stuff you'd find around a person's hippocampus inside the real brain. Even something as brains as Baku can't break into a person's memory within active mem- within active mem- mental data. It would definitely be crossing the line, and I understand why that's bad. I'll hand over what I copied to your partner, given the apparent apparent interest is apparent interest is sparked. It really is like a Baku, isn't it? I think more or less we have a grasp on the current situation now. I am that I am not. I think that might be the best way to describe that your partner is to this world, if you catch my drift. You know, I was thinking the same thing. Genius or not, even I can't purposely go out and architect life itself. The thing is, possibly born as such a pure chance. I have no idea how it'll end up growing moving forward. Certainly, at the very least, I have a feeling I'll lose control of it eventually. You are very smart. I don't just don't mean you know a lot either. There's a sharpness to your words that I admire. Can I trust that you let me deal with this Baku? Do you plan on disposing it? We'll see. It depends on how things go. Okay, I trust your judgment. You'll find it uploaded onto a site. The password lock has been listed. The rest, I'll leave up to you. Whoa, this little kid, he's the culprit? I have never guessed it would be someone so young. Well, I, um, uh, you see... What? Why did I do what I did to her account? What? Who cares at this stage? I won't do it again, and I promise even to apologize for later. I'll even give her some consolation money, so just leave me alone. You know, I just remembered. We've met here in Eden before, haven't we? We talked for a little bit while I was waiting to meet up with a friend. Right? So why did you just do all that mean stuff? You're so smart, you shouldn't be out committing crimes. Um... Yes? You're right, I'm sorry. That's what I was hoping for to hear. See, you're a good kid at heart. What are you staring at? I did it all right. I apologized. Let's call it a let's call it good at that. We still have work to do. I'll be sending you to the, sending you the URL of the Baku Reborn service now. We're going to resume our hunt now. Only our goal here is to capture rather than kill our target. Monica, I want you to go back. It's too dangerous for you to stick around. My assistants will take care of everything. All right, counting on you. We don't know how our prey is going to react once we get there. You better get prepared for anything before we go. <sighs> so much talking.
Let's see here. Nope, that's not what I wanted. Here we go. Oh, my jaw. Sweet, I can unlock level threes. I got an emerald. Now I just need six more. Wall crack level two. Sleep recovery times threes. Oh, something tells me there's going to be sleepers. All right, how strong are these mons? Oh, champs. talking without a drink break. Whew. It's already bad enough I have a split in my nose where... Oh, wait. Brave point E. That's some good stuff. That's free EXP. I got a split in my nose from how cold the, the air and the ridge and all that. Oh, I go back to Eden. There's a clockmon. We're good. There it is, our one and only Baku. From the looks of it, the kids program has merged with a wild Digimon. He's speaking in uh, digital. It's no use trying to reason here. The program's erased, whatever traces were left. Let's wait. It's no use trying to reason here. The programs erased whatever traces were left of that Digimon's own sentience. Digimon are really susceptible to influences from man-made programs. It's one of the reasons why we don't consider them to be autonomous beings with their own sense of will. Very specific input. There's, gonna, there's no getting around this one. We'll just have to knock some sense into it. All right, let's see how bad is this one. Heaven's Thunder. Ooh, nice crit. All right, so it's a th it's a Thunder data type, so it should this should do some hurting on it. Ooh, good amount. Sunshine beam, thank you. Right, fixed. Idle Bubble will put him to sleep. Tail Slam for the win. Now that it's over, download the data and collect what's left of Baku. Once you're done, get out of there and come back to the office. Meanwhile, I had a horn impaled in my chin. It's hard to believe such a little kid would do a heinous crime like that. I'm still shocked. Yandis, huh? I guess I see where you're coming from. Even if he didn't mean any harm by it, what he did certainly was breaking the law. But that's all in the past now, and we've 
exercised your account of that little stalker that haunted it. The case is closed now. We'll be holding on to the Baku program in the meantime. If we can tune it up a bit, it could very well come in handy. But I still don't get it. Why did he go after me in the first place? I think it's very apparent. Do neither of you really get why that boy picked on her? In any way, there's no reason for it. Except to say, it was love at first sight. He really liked you. Huh? At first, he probably just wanted to get to know you more with all of his heart. But as he saw, he was less mature than you was, was to like to admit. He wanted to tease and mess with you so you'd pay attention to him. At his age, it's a pretty standard mentality towards people you like, really. Whew, that was so much fun. Let me hop out again if there's a case, please. I think it'd be pretty cool to be a detective cat Digimon like this. But your dog, a cat... Ugh. I don't even know what you are anymore. Male, female, cat, dog, lion. I mean, in a sense, this is probably our, our Leomon mascot. Anyway, if you're not able to actually leave the confines of Nanako Broadway, and I think it's something to do with how old the network protocols for the intranet are. It makes it hard to transfer data around. It could be I'm just stuck in the vacuum tube computer like the Baku was the Digimon. There's still so much to learn about Pete truly is, it seems. Hmm. Huh. Why would we call Pete Pete? Well, Pete's a, Pete's a cat thing. He was extracted from his own little time castle where he was frozen to sleep for all this time. Besides, open enough doors and you're bound to... Well, do you really need a reason for it? Unlike the digital world, the real world is filled to the brim with things that have no real reason for being what they are. It's a simple pleasure in life to be able to get entitled to have as humans. Don't sweat it too much. Just kick back and enjoy it. Kick back and enjoy, you say. You should be getting pretty close to chapter 5. I mean, should be getting close to chapter 5. Case closed. Memory up. Pete's an important member of the cheat now, so make sure you two get along, okay? Come to think of it, we're out of beans. Pick up some more, will you? I used them all up in crafting a new- Oh my god. Kyoko and coffee. Do not mix. Kyoko and coffee. Do not mix. Wait, I am wait, I am on chapter five, am I? Okay, fine, next chapter I'll Okay, next chapter we'll start doing ultimates because this the difficulty's starting to rise. Coffee, please. You know, I'm not a big fan of coffee. Mainly because I went to the one trip to Starbucks and the whole place reeked to hell of like I was like walking in and a bunch of skunks were dining in. It just Each time I go into Starbucks, it just smells like roadkill skunks everywhere. I just can't stand it. Buying more beans already. I suppose with more employees, the supplies is used up much faster. How am I still alive after drinking so much of her coffee? Come to think of it, when you head back, why don't you try to buy some taku, oh, takoyaki from third floor... When you go to your coffee. Well, a child does... Only a child does no more than what they're asked. Go above and beyond and see if you'll be quite clever. Okay. Go f teriyaki, right? I got the coffee beans that Kyoko asked for. What new horror will she create from these incredible beans that smell so decent? Uh Finally some voice lines for once. Oh. 
You have got to be kidding me. There's a poster on the wall Yuko was staring at. Nationwide B-level gourmet battle. Our restaurant becomes a culinary battlefield. Granted, oh, grated yam robin, tuna gray scraps guza, famous massive frozen custard dip sum. What? Blech. This is like Yuko was looking at. Let's see, did I, did I hear her mouth water over this? She did. Her mouth was definitely watering. No one's, nobody's mouth should water to this. Well, I mean... Oh, and here we go again. Finally, I could take a break from talking. I nearly choked on my drink. Oh, okay, did your mouth water? Your mouth watered, didn't it? Your mouth watered. I know it did. Oh my god. Each one of these will make me look like an ass. Oh. <laughs> you know, that might be too rude. I'll go with the middle. You know, after all the stuff that she did, third option. Oh. Uh, uh, uh. At least she said it right this time. Oh, you mean we want to go back to the place and go talk to the other person but the daughter who reservably has a daughter that isn't you or your actual legit father this time? This is chapter 5. Okay. Kamishiro Satoru-san. Kamishiro Enterprise no Zen Shachou desu ne. Like how she said, former. Hi. Sakunen onakunari ni natta. Jisatsu datta to hodou sarete imashita mo. Shigaimasu. Shigaun desu. Otou-san wa jisatsu nanka shinai. Ah. Sumimasen. Oki na koe wo. Iye. かまいませんよ。それでなぜ自殺ではないと何か確証が終わりですか。か確証がありません。だからこそ調査を依頼したいんです。なるほど。ごもっとも手がかりはおそらく先日調査していただいた山科誠。彼は。昨年まで神城の研究員でした。父の死と時を同じくして退社し、そのまま行方をくらましてしまった。それで山科が父親の死に関係していると考えた。はい。直接関係はないとしても、父の死についてきっと何かを知っていると。
This is a horrible way of testing. More like she's got nobody else to turn to for this. As long as one of those people is not Miss Rize. Oh my god. You should be. You used up all those you used valuable resources for a ruse. ありがとう。ありがとうございます。あ、ちょっとすみません。もしもし、はい。あいえ、特に問題は何も。はい。はい。え違います。私一人です。わかりました。すぐに戻りますから。リエさんは本社で待っていてください。では。すみません。休養ができました。そのようですね。調査は休んじて我々にお任せを。<笑> よろしくお願いします。では。これはかなり大掛かりな調査になりそうだ。本腰を入れて当たらねばな。うまくすれば、神城の過去や内部事情も暴くことができるだろう。またよし刑事にもご足労願うとしようか。you want me to pry off that clingy daughter of his just to get answers. Just so you, if you didn't know, NVNG means nothing ventured, nothing gained. まない。大したことではないよ。ダメ元。父がよく使っていた言葉でね。ご存知の通り、ダメで元々が略された言葉なのだが、彼はこう言っていた。なかなかどうして。いきな趣のある表現だと思わないかそう深く考えるものでもない。それこそ無粋というものだ。さて、無駄話はこれまで調査を開始してくれたまえ。Oh, she makes no sense. And there's no bonuses. G line. Thank you very much for your work on the case. Makedaste. Okay, you know, I did say it was chapter 5. We're gonna bust out the ultimates. We are busting out ultimates. So, first and foremost, I need to know. Exactly. How much am I off for 30? Darkness. Wait, what was... Okay, yep, 28... Great Lord is 30 and 
You know, my opinion on what Digimon lines I want to do changed drastically because of Link, so now the original lines that I was going to stick with the beginning of this run changed when I got to the midpoint of it, and it got changed when I got introduced to Link's, and now that I got to interact with a bunch of Digimon on Link's that I probably would have never have got to uh, gone to interact with on Cyber Sleuth, expect to see some change to some lines down the road. With speed, and what's my speed? Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Uh. Wolf, Fang, Nada. Guess we also have. Mythos will actually, actually have fallout mode, which would be something else. Let's see, here we have. I mean, I could also just break out the armors. We have, let's see here, one, one, two, three, this is one. Actually, that'd be pretty powerful. One. Two. Three. Four. Wow. That's a hyper beam. I forgot about he had that much power. Six. Wait, who is Sakura gonna digivolve into? Hang on. Wait. Sakura, who's. Oh my god, now I gotta. Oh, uh, hang on. Let me look at... What the hell was I doing with... Taoman? Let's see. Taoman comes with three lines, so... The Woodmon would have had... Those? No, I would not pick... Woodmon... What was it? Crystalemon, was it? Crystalemon would have... Cyber Dramon, which would be none of those, would be working. Oh, wait, I was gonna keep Sakura for Sakuya. Okay. Talmon was. What was I even gonna do for Talmon? Ugh, I'll remember down the road. So we have. So while I put out the other rotation, one, two, I mean, I could theoretically have spike out, but spike would just, like, be easy mode, but at the same time, I'm running strep for time, so when we get to chapter 10, spike is unleashed. So what we're going to do here is we are going to be moving everyone to... Everyone's moving to here. I'm going to go take a quick uh, recovery break because I'm recording this in bulk. I'm going to let them get up to 30. I'm going to evolve them. And then the mons I want to keep will stay on the patch. So I'm going to... Lily will be Lilymon, which will be Flowermon, and Lilymon. What ever line was Lilymon? Lilymon. Just check it here on my little little pet piece here. Magnadramon, Lotusmon, or Rosemon. Okay.
So this is a good stopping point. I could start up chapter five's work right after my little uh, lunch break. Cause I need to, something tells me there's gonna be a lot of dialogue and talking for the next hour so. But it's what I get for not being able to have my equipment working properly to be able to get this done back in November and December. Thank you, Microsoft and Windows 10, for almost destroying my computer. No reconciliation for that. Seriously. The Elgato was just about Swiss cheesed. I lost my webcam. I can't, I can't even bring up my Chroma cam, so down the road I'm going to have to get a green screen. It, it's just a bunch of random stuff, so... It's just, it's the small things that add up on top of each other, if you know what I mean, so... Thank you for watching, and I'll see you when I have my ultimates ready so I can make my new ultimate line to go through chapters 5 through 10. And when we hit chapter 10 or 11, we're going, we're going to basically be going into Mega Lands all the way to the end. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next part.